Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your April 2024 number two. All right, for the beautiful sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Everything you need is below in the description box between, between, in the description box and in the pink comments for you and your collective, every link that you need. Virgo, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can do that at www.marvelousmadame.com and uh, you can book accordingly. Please be advised that although my schedule is updated, um, we will be, I will be moving to a summer schedule um, in about six weeks. But tarot text readings, as well as tarot email readings, and as well as the pre-recorded videos are always available all year round. This is for Virgo. We're going into an angel and for oracle um, reading. I will call um, on your, oh, I see. I will ask spirit to give me the answers and then we will clarify while they're there. And let's get started. Okay, Virgo, we're, we're leading with the situation will improve. The heart place shows that there's something better. And then we have choose a new direction. All right. It's very clear that based upon these answers that have come out, that it's time to leave. It's time to leave a situation. It's not serving you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get through this one at a time. The situation will improve. I think ultimately this is what spirit is giving you for encouragement, Virgo. Spirit wants you to know that you're about to go through some of the most hardest uh, times that you have ever probably had to go through um, with this situation that you're embarking on or that's, that is in your life right now. However, they want you to understand that they are there for you and the situation will improve. But just like with everything, it will improve if you take a specific action or path. And with the heart place showing there's something better, I think that maybe some of you guys are stuck on a heart place matter where you can't see yourself loving or living without this person, place, or thing. And I'm feeling like spirit wants you to know that there is something better. Maybe that does include that person, but a better incarnation of this relationship that you guys have, because certainly the way in which things are going is not, um, it's not conducive to happiness. And then we do have choose a new direction. So again, a further con uh, confirmation and an angel answer that whatever path you're on right now, there is another direction that is meant for you. So yes, the situation will improve, but there's something better. You have two of the same cards. That's pretty much telling you that you need to choose a direction because there's better out there for you. Let's find out why these cards are here. Why are these cards here for Virgo? So the situation will improve is being clarified by the nine of swords. And... There's something better in the heart place being clarified by the hair font. Okay, I see that. Choose a new direction being clarified by temperance. Okay, so we got two major arcana. I think I see exactly what I need to see. The situation will improve. Yes, and you know this. It has given you tons of anxiety about it. You have been up at night. You know that deep down inside that the situation that you're in right now, Virgo Collective, will improve. But I think you know that ultimately it improves without that individual. Because if it was, a, if it was going to improve, then why the hell will it give you? Why would a situation improving and you knowing and believing that cause so much anxiety? So it's not, that's not what you have anxiety about. The, you have anxiety because you know deep down inside or you're losing sleep over this because you know that that means that you have to walk away from something. There's something better being clarified by the Hierophant. This is speaking to me and speaking volumes to me, Virgo, because what this is saying to me is, is you know darn well that there is a higher version of what you need out there. So it's like you riding around and... Um, that it's not going to be the exact same thing, but it's like knowing that, you know, you're looking down at something, you rip your jeans and you're like, you know what? 
I love these jeans. They're so comfortable, but you know what? This hole is getting on my nerve because I'm making it worse because I'm, I'm, I'm wearing these. No one can see the hole, but I'm making it worse because I keep putting something on that is holy. <laughs> Very crazy um, abstract example, but I think it serves the same purpose. You know that you love this person, place, or thing. You know that you love them. You know that you have invested in them. You know that you've been through hell and you love them, but your health doesn't love them. Your stress, certainly the hell doesn't love them. Maybe your hair is falling out. Your hair doesn't love them. So I'm just saying that Sometimes you have to love a person from a distance. You have to understand that what loves you doesn't always love you back because it wouldn't make you feel like this on the inside and out. And I think the hair font is here to say, hey, traditionally, this ain't it. Like there is something better, like the higher of what this is, the higher self, your higher self is telling you. And then look at this person. Look at this person like, is this person a holy man? Are they a traditional man or woman? Like, do they have morals? Do they have values? No. You may, but I don't think that, you know, this, this, is, this is a clear indication that whoever this is, isn't it. And I feel like you've already stayed your welcome. You overstayed it because choose a new direction is being clarified by the tempers. You can only take so much, so much one day at a time. What the hell else can you take one day at a time, Virgo? You have tried to moderate and take it daily and just take the good with the bad, but spirit is drawing the line in the sand to say, listen, the answer is it's time to go. It's time to go. Beating this dead horse and trying to take on this um it is doing what to, to 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 the situation what good is it doing it's stressing you out all right looking at me back at the top of the deck is the queen the two queens look at this both of them all right so i am going to um i see what we're doing so let's associate right now um the queen of swords is associated with this um nine of swords so you are the queen of swords you may have a virgo that may have some air in your chart so you ideal you're idealizing this okay especially if you have that in the moon in the moon because now your air is giving you an idea of what you should be dealing with but that shit doesn't always translate in reality all right and for some of you guys, there is another person because we got two queens. And yeah, you are every woman and every man, but there seems to be a there's a there's definitely an intellectual a intellectual connection between you and this individual. I'm looking, I'm feeling like for those of you, this general reading just turned into a love general reading. But there's another queen here. And they both came out. So you definitely are losing sleep because it appears that you're sharing your partner. You're sharing. There seems to be another aspect. It could be looked at as for those of you who do not. It doesn't resonate with you with this person cheating and you're knowing about it. Um, you're married to someone that has cheated on you and you won't leave. That's for some of you. For others of you, you know that this person is cheating. Someone is giving them something, giving them nurturing them mothering them giving them gifts um you've noticed that and maybe they have you sitting around um having to hold the bag and struggle and do all of that we're not doing that we're not gonna do that but that may be um a probable thing that's going on um you've tried to um take things one day at a time and look at the situation from a diplomatic standpoint and try everything in your hardest to look at the but it's just that's not working it's not working. Others of you, um, you have been more than um, um, fair, but you know, as the queen of swords, you do not like the lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits. You're not into this crap. You want truth at all times. And this person has tested your resolve to the, the I'm telling you, they have push, pushed you to the point of no return. All right. I think this one is very, very cut and dry, Virgo. I do apologize that I have to deliver this to you. What remains here is the Hierophant and the Temperance. The Hierophant, I think, is here to remind you that you don't have to stress over this because at the end of the day, you know what right and wrong is and you want somebody that's going to reflect your morals and values back to you. 
And I do feel like when it comes down to temperance, you know, you've already experienced this, but also you're going to have to experience this temperance with yourself and choose a new direction. Because I think ultimately what's happening here is that that is the part that's stressing you out. And that's completely and totally daunting. The fact that you need to choose a new direction and you're going to have to convince yourself you're in the fight for your life because you have to convince your heart to choose a new direction. I think that that's probably the hardest part here. And I do apologize to have to say that, but remember the situation will improve with the better situation. Once you choose this new direction, things will um, open up. And I think that that's the issue. You have to convince your heart to choose a new direction. Um, I think mentally you believe it, but convincing your heart is another story, Virgo. So I'm sending um, tons of healing light your way. And if you've made it this far, um, the important announcement is obviously um, going forward in May, um, you're going to get two general readings on this channel, including the other collective readings. Anything beyond two will be exclusively on the website, www.marvelousmadame.com, guys, okay? Um, there is a reason for that. If you're interested for that reason um, and, you know, you just won't be wanting to know what's up, um, I will have that information on my website um, come um, the 1st of May. Um, why? I'm not going to put that on this platform. I will be talking about that exclusively on my website. So if that's what you're interested in, that's fine. There will be an accompanying blog and there will be an opportunity to make some comments. But going forward, we will bring our bonuses. Um, I'm sorry, we will bring our extensions back. And we will start to get down into the nitty and the gritty a little bit more. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Um, and um, I know that it is going to be hard. So I'm sending you tons of heal and light on your journey. If that last message resonated with you and I will see you in May. This is going to conclude our readings for the month of April. Bye, guys.